Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about a new concept, new chapter called marginal costing. Generally, marginal costing concepts are used for decision making. Now, you may have a doubt now, that is what do you mean by marginal costing. I will give you a simple example to understand the concept, that is, I have a factory and my factory capacity is 10,000 units and actually I am producing only 1,000 units. My factory have a capacity of 10,000 units. Actually, I am producing 10% of my capacity that is only 1,000 units. For producing this 1,000 units, I have incurred the cost which is raw material cost that is rupees 1 lakh and labor cost rupees 50,000 and also I have incurred overhead cost. Generally, as we all know, the overhead costs are divided into two, that is variable overhead and fixed overhead. So, my variable overhead cost is rupees 50,000 and also my fixed overhead cost is rupees 80,000. So, my total cost for the 1000 units production is 2,80,000 rupees. I am recording a sales of rupees 3 lakh. I am recording a sales of rupees 3 lakh. That means my current profit, that means my current profit will be 20,000. So, this is the situation. In this situation, someone giving me an order for producing 100 units. He says that he wants 100 units, 100 unit finished goods and told me to quote the selling price for that 100 units. He wants to know the selling price for that 100 units. In that situation, I want to decide the selling price for that order, 100 unit order. Such a situation, we will try to know the cost per unit. If we know the cost per unit, that is cost for one unit, we can easily calculate the cost for 100 units, 200 units, 300 units. So, in that situation, we are calculating the cost per unit. Here, our first cost is raw material, that is rupees 1 lakh for 1000 units. So, for cost per unit, the cost will be 100. Labor cost is 50,000 for 1000 units and the cost per unit will be 50 variable overhead will be 50 fixed overhead will be 80 and the total cost per unit will be 280 profit per unit 20 and also selling price per unit will be 300 now i want to calculate the cost that is selling price for the 100 unit order. So, we are calculating here our 100 unit order cost. Raw material cost per unit is rupees 100. For 100 units, it will be rupees 10,000. Labor cost is cost per unit is rupees 50. For 100 unit, it will be 5,000. And variable overhead also rupees 50 per unit and for 100 unit it will also be 5000 and fixed overhead very 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 important that 
will be nil because fixed cost always incurred for the full capacity i have a capacity of 10000 units of production i incurred fixed cost of rupees 80000 it is the actual capacity 1000 units but the fixed cost is incurred for the total capacity of 10000 units i am actually producing only 1000 units so the fixed cost for additional 100 units will be nil so the total cost will be 20000 20000 as we all know fixed cost is not dependent on production it will linger irrespective of production so additional production only require additional cost that is variable cost here we incur only variable cost as additional cost such additional cost that is known as marginal cost what do you mean by marginal cost additional cost of production is known as marginal cost here marginal cost will equal to variable cost because there is no fixed cost here so marginal cost will always be equal to variable cost that is why marginal cost is known as variable cost marginal cost means simply means it is an additional cost incurred for additional unit of production here our cost is 20000 so cost per unit 20000 divided by 100 units this 20000 is for 100 units for cost per unit will be rupees 200 200 is the cost per unit over and above anything any price beyond the 200 can be accepted because our cost is covered here any price for example if he say 250 is the price for our product it will be acceptable because our cost is covered here any price above 200 is acceptable this is the concept of marginal cost